The coagulation cascade is a series of events vital for a hemostasis, or the maintenance of fluid blood flow within the vasculature. There are three stages of hemostasis, these being vascular spasm, where damaged blood vessels will constrict to reduce blood flow to the damaged area. Then we have the platelet plug formation, where platelets will bind to the walls of the damaged vessel, forming a platelet plug and stopping bleeding. And the third step and focus of this video, which is coagulation. Uh, the formation of a stable clot by converting fibrinogen to fibrin. The process of coagulation involves a series of proteins known as clotting factors. These factors circulate through the bloodstream as zymogens or inactive precursors of enzymes and are activated upon blood vessel damage or tissue damage. Damage to the endothelium of blood vessels will trigger the intrinsic pathway, while trauma to extravascular cells will trigger the extrinsic pathways. Both pathways converge, forming the common pathway. The intrinsic pathway is the longer pathway and is initiated by the activation of factor 12, a zymogen, into factor 12A, an activated protease. And this is done upon exposure to endothelial collagen. Factor 12A will then go on to activate factor 11 to factor 11A. Factor 11A in turn activates factor 9 into factor 9A. And factor 9A together with the cofactor factor 8A will activate factor 10 to factor 10A. From here onwards, the common pathway begins, and before we discuss that, let's just include the extrinsic pathway. The extrinsic pathway is shorter and is initiated upon the release of tissue factor, which is also known as factor 3, and it is released usually from tissue damage. Tissue factor will activate factor 7 to factor 7A, and factor 7A in complex with factor 3 activates factor 10 to factor 10A, at which point the common pathway starts. So the common pathway begins with the activation of factor 10, and this is a complicated process, and the cleavage of factor 10 to factor 10A is done so by the complex named 10As. 10As has two forms. Uh, an extrinsic form consisting of factor 7A, factor 3, and calcium, and an intrinsic form consisting of factor 9A, the cofactor, uh, factor 8A, uh, a phospholipid, and calcium ions. Factor 10A will then cleave prothrombin, uh, which is factor 2, to thrombin which is factor 2A, with the help of the cofactor, factor 5A. Thrombin, in turn, cleaves fibrinogen, which is factor 1, into fibrin, which is factor 1A. Thrombin also goes on to activate other factors in the intrinsic pathway, such as factor 11, as well as the cofactors 8, 5, and factor 13. Factor 13 is also known as fibrin stabilizing factor and it cross-links fibrin strands to form a fibrin mesh and this is what will stabilize the plated plug and complete uh, coagulation. And so this is the end of the coagulation cascade. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.